Okay, you know what time it is. Back into the heartland. So no shout outs today because I'm in a rush and uh, something I chewed on today. I'm not sure what it's causing my like jaw to hurt. So I might be, uh, I should still be relatively upbeat, but like I, I'm trying, I, I basically have to ignore this like continuous low level pain in my lower left jaw. Just something I bit. I just remember feeling this sharp pain and the ache has not gone away. It's very, uh... It, it's very frustrating. It's kind of like if you, like, stub your toe, it's a sharp pain, but then it goes away. But this is the other way, where it's like it just lasts for hours and hours and hours, and it's not very sharp, but, man, it's just annoying. Anyways, so I did do some stuff off-screen. This episode, we are going to poke the plague wall. Like, uh, I'm not sure what it's capable of doing, but, you know, we're going to launch an attack to see what it does. So I didn't want to do that at nighttime, and I didn't want to make another ep episode of me doing stuff at nighttime. So I just spent basically the night running around to level up my cardio. Looks like I got to turn my volume off for my computer so it doesn't bleed in. And uh, so, yeah, I just ran around basically leveled up some cardio, waited for the that electrical building to install. And as you can see, we're right at the uh, very beginning of sunup. So the first thing we're going to do is go to all the characters that actually gained it, because I didn't actually pick it, so we can see what I choose. Uh, well, he only gets one because he's a red talon guy. Backpacking, interesting. One choice. All right, so what we need to do now is first thing we're going to do is pick the people who are actually going to engage in the mission, and that's going to be Helena and probably Quincy. I like the idea of the, the OG squad doing this. So I was advised to basically... I can't kick Quincy out, so unfortunately we'll just have to go look for him. I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of switch to him to see if I can get... In a, okay, so he's right there. He's at the top of this tower. Need something? Follow me, will you? I need you for something fun. After you. Okay, so now we got that. Next step is to actually gear up. I don't know what the plague art is capable. Uh, not the plague art, but the uh, the plague wall is capable of doing. I suspect it's essentially a really big plague art. So we have. Um, couldn't we have the airstrike? Yes, we can now activate that. We'll do that once we're leave, once we're ready. Actually, how long does it take to actually activate this? It takes 12 minutes, so let's start the hacking process now so that we have access to it. And let's begin gearing up. We're just gonna throw everything in and pick from the start. So I'm going to have him use the R12 import because he has infinite ammo. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's switch to him. He's going to use that weapon. Why am I going to use Helena as my active character? It's because she has powerhouse. And that could be useful against the ferals. Not could, it will be useful against the ferals. I, can't believe we found a base I don't think being quiet is going to be important, so I might take the uh, the silencer off. I think it's just going to be really loud in general. Let's go ahead and put all this stuff in. We'll sort out our stuff. He uses close combat, so it doesn't matter what weapon he uses. She uses striking. So let's find what's our best. I'll probably take a second weapon as well. Probably two pipe wrenches. Let's go with energy drinks and the heavy painkillers. Uh, let's let's just go and order that. Let's do like kind of like medicinal supplies and whatnot, and then we'll just kind of switch back and forth through them. In case I need to switch characters, I'll also outfit him, which means I should also bring some ammo, even though he has infinite ammo in the event I need to switch to him.
Grab one more shell. Hey, Quincy. You first, amigo. We'll use this. Bring some ammo. We've got a spare weapon. I just realized something. We are I want a full stack of uh, cures. This repetitive dialogue is gonna drive me nuts, I swear. Uh, let's see how many samples we got. Okay, we got plenty. Go ahead and make some stuff. One. Two. So one thing I wish it stayed decay is when I activate this, I wish it wouldn't send me back to this menu. I wish it would just keep it there so I could just go bam, bam, bam and make three of them. That would be nice. You need something? You're the boss. Hey, Quincy. I can't believe we found a base as big as this one. Of course, the moment I switch off of her, she has to talk about how big the base is. So we'll bring our heavy munitions now. This is seriously too Let's bring two med kits and put it in the car. Which we're going to use this vehicle. Two med kits. Uh, let's rip, get the car loaded up while we're here. Let's go ahead and repair the car while I want it in maximum condition, or basically just one more of these in it. And then we'll call another one in. Okay. Then we may need to run some zombies over. So it's uh, good to make sure the vehicle is in good shape. Med kits for if someone gets like severely injured. And now what we need are probably some pipe bombs. What's next? Killer cyborgs? So this is two ammo and 75, one ammo. This is more economical, so let's go with this. See, once again, like, if it just left me here, I could just kind of, like, build a whole bunch of them, but... It doesn't do that. Okay. You need Pretty some. light, so we can just load up on these. Willy Pete grenades, those are really strong. Hand grenades. Uh, I guess I haven't have incendiaries. Oh, we can't make fuel bombs? That's weird. Fuel bombs are like such a normal thing to have. I'm surprised that we can't make fuel bombs. Another thing I want to do is actually bring some distractions, because this is standard zone, so distractions should work. That means I actually should put the incendiaries on this character. You need something? I'm right behind you. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we can put in the car. I think what I'll do is I will bring another stack of ammo for my weapon. I'm gonna paint feathers on that T-Rex. Just to be scientifically accurate. Or do we have maximum ammo? Okay, it looks like we already brought all the ammo we can, so. What should I bring? I guess one more med kit. All these preparations could be worthless, you know, who knows? Maybe we can't bring the car somewhere, but... I'd rather bring a whole bunch of stuff and not need it than... 
bring a whole bunch of stuff and... Or not bring the stuff and then wish I had it. Hey, Quincy. I just realized something. I'm probably going to have to use... Okay, I know what I need to do. I'm probably going to have to be equipped with those bloater bombs that he's going to give me now that I think about it. So I, I, I actually need one free inventory slot. It just hit me. That's a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do is put my spare weapon in the trunk and leave one inventory slot open for the uh, the deployable weapon. Maybe I should give Quincy one spare slot as well, because what if he gives me two stacks? So we'll both leave one slot open. Okay, we're ready now. How close are we to drone hacking? Over halfway there. Fuel up first. So this might not be sufficient for destroying the wall. That's fine, though. Like, if we have to run away, then we'll run away. Like, what I want to do is just... I just kind of want to see what it does. Like, we're just gonna... It's almost like probing the defenses. That's basically the way we can visualize it. Because typically I don't like to challenge something I don't understand. But the only way to understand it is to challenge it. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna commit to the attack. Like, if we just wind up destroying it, like, it, it just doesn't even stand a chance, then, yeah, okay, we kicked its ass, but... What we're going to do is... Cautiously... Poke the nest. And see what happens. Probably should just drive on the road. Driving off-road has had mixed results so far. Yeah, let's just drive on the road for a bit. It's still pretty early in the morning, I'm not in a rush. Don't want to damage the car more than it's needed. I'm hoping that the target is going to be the downed the downed uh, airliner because that one is very wide and open, which means that we would be able to use the car to just smash everything out of the way that is not a juggernaut or a bloater. We'll see, though. Also, taking the survey car allows us to... ...detect advanced enemies. It, it, it puts hordes on the map, it detects freaks and whatnot, so... I mean, when we're out of it, it won't do it, but... ...in the meantime, it will, so... ...we'll see. Need to cut across pretty soon, but the turn is right here, so didn't really matter. I know there's already people who have uh, beaten the game mode. I play one hour a day, so it'll probably take me a little while to beat the game mode, but at the same time, uh, I'm not in a rush. Like, some people think I'm going too fast, but I, I honestly feel like I'm I'm only going slightly faster than I might go if I were playing by myself or not playing for a uh, an audience rather. Like this is uh, overall a fairly comfortable pace to me. Here comes a zombie. Glad you made it. Let me brief you on what's next. Remember those plague walls? They'll show you how they take them down. All right, let's do this. 
Okay, yeah, it looks like we are going to the crashed plane. Now, I told you already that these walls are completely immune to attack. On top of that, they're surrounded by a toxic soup that'll kill you quick. Okay. Kind of a deadpan response. Looks like their research base is very close to the target, which is convenient. First, let's just do a little drive around it. And okay. use our thing to... Let's just see, let's just scan the area with our... Survey vehicle. Reveal anything unsavory. I feel fairly confident about this, because, you know, it, it won't be hard for us to get to the car in the event that we get in... if it gets a little bit heavy. So, we did not detect... so all these zombies are just kind of loose zombies. I don't want to junk up my inventory, so we'll just leave those there for now. This the single fire. Okay, it has burst and single. Thing is definitely pretty gross looking. It's like a wall of plague zombies. Okay, what does he have to say? The doc made with those harvested poison glands. What are these things anyway? Busters. Now, let's go see how they work. Okay, but today is actually good. Let's first kill every one of these zombies that are basically in range of us. Come here. Okay, he's gonna scream, which is fine. Let's just get everyone out of the way. Because uh, I imagine this thing is similar to a play garden that is capable of, like, communicating for help to other, to its nearby brothers. Really? You didn't knock that guy down? Okay, the area is fairly clear now. Let's go ahead and row it at it, I guess. Let's also, um... Let's just, let's just find out what happens. First, I just want to see, is anyone attacking us? One thing to remember, this is gonna draw a bunch of plague zombies. Didn't feel that. No poison gas, and the bloater belly loses its protective shell. You can damage that exposed bloater belly with bullets or explosives or pretty pointy sticks. Even pointy sticks. Okay, okay, so there's a limited amount of time. So let's plant the bomb. Well, wait a second. It's so low on health that it would be a waste, I think. So let's kill the stragglers. This must be the tutorial one, or perhaps they give us the first portion of its health. Maybe they give the- maybe the first portion of its health is free, and then it gets harder on the second and third portion. So, I think I understand what we are going to do. Let's, uh, throw another one. Good, okay. Our ally took care of it. So I imagine they don't like that. The reason I'm just wandering around right now is I'm looking at my map for incoming zombies, but... I assume we need to find another target? Let's just continue examining the area. I guess we're looking for another one of those just giant abscesses. Kind of what it looks like to me, a giant abscess. Oh, I see. I bet the smoky areas are a hint to where they are. Maybe not.
I'm probably doing this wrong, and someone's yelling at me like, Oh my god, you like, you stupid stupidness. Maybe we should go talk to the captain. Maybe we just need to attack it multiple times. Maybe there isn't multiple abscesses. Maybe it's actually the same abscess. Like, let me talk. Because, like, I think that if there were multiple abscesses, this guy would lead us to him. Yeah, you can throw another plague buster to keep making progress. Okay. <laughs> so let's put a... a C4 down first. Now we'll throw this at it, and then we'll detonate the C4. That's much better. Okay, now we'll deal with the reinforcements. Yeah, so as I thought, after you destroy the, the first one is kind of given to you for free. Where's my, um... I, need to rest. I hate that execution. It takes so long to get through. You need something? Okay, same tactic. We're going to use the C4. We'll throw it in. Oops, I said detonate it. Let's throw a distraction. Okay, the distractions do work, as you can see, they are mesmerized by the firecrackers. I see, we kind of split it in half, basically. But here's the part I was worried about, that uh, if there was a reward for destroying it. I mean, I guess we can always come back. Who would ever want to... Kind of just ordinary stuff here. I'm hoping for something exotic. I mean, we can always come back to this location. In fact, we probably will do like a cargo run. I just want to open all these up to see what... what we're gonna get. Okay. So far, I'm not really all that impressed by what we got. What's this? A Mac V? Exceptionally rare Vietnam-era Mac-10 with a original suppressor and folding stock. Much easier to control and more common machine pistol variation, but old enough to warrant frequent maintenance. Interesting. Just grab that. It's like kind of our trophy for breaking the wall in half. The doc has authorized my request to join your team. That is, if you'll have me. Why not? It's nice to be part of a team again. Let me call the doc and let her know. So we're immediately going to redeploy. Just wanted to confirm my transfer to Jurassic Junction. Message received, Captain. I'll begin relocating operations to our designated overlook position. Understood. Logan out. Ah, uh, yes. I'm going to miss that sunny, warm disposition. All right. How about you show me where I'll be bunking? As you say. Looks like that feral didn't want to join the attack. He's a he's a coward. He uh, didn't want to defend his uh, headquarters. 
Got this whole screamer right here that isn't really important. Alright, so there should be a road up ahead that we can take. Get back to the main road and back home, then we'll redeploy in a full-scale vehicle, like a, a cargo vehicle. And then we'll just go get all of that stuff. So I suspect that, like, that's kind of the tutorial plague wall. Like, I have a strong suspicion that a, uh, a full-fledged plague wall experience will probably be about ten times as hard as that, so... I'm not going to uh, make too much commentary. Like I said, I think that's kind of the, the tutorial wall. It is basically like a gigantic plague art, though. That's really what it reminds me of. It just has that, uh, just has that shield around it. The, like, plague shield. I am a little disappointed by the rewards, though. Like, you know, we did get that unique Mac 10 but... Kind of shrugging my shoulders at that. I was kind of hoping for something a little more interesting. Or even like a lore hint or something, you know, like a... Uh, some kind of... Note, an interesting note. But, uh, what can you do? Well, I guess what we can do is go back and get all the stuff that we missed. One thing I will say about the Plague Wall is it does make it feel more like a war against the Zeds, since now the Zeds are kind of like constructing their own headquarters. Wait, you've done a pretty good job fortifying this place, but I might be able to provide a few tips. I couldn't agree more. Good to have you with us. Thanks for letting me join your team. I'll be here when you need me. This has got to be the largest base I've ever seen. Oh, yes. The largest base. It is so big. So big that you have to bring it up every single time. You need something? Need the way. This place isn't bad, but we need some serious defenses for what's out there. Let me work up some plans. That'll free up his inventory. I guess we'll go inside to get him to, like, stop following us. We're gonna equip the silencer. Looks like we got a horde. Got a feral over there. We should probably go deal with him before I forget about him. We don't. We don't want these freaks to start piling up around our base. Like that would be. Uh, can I jump over that? Nope. Where's, oh, here's the door. Off I go. There he is. Drop kick. Execute. Okay. Alright, so now we got this so that we can be a little more quiet. Which car do we want? This is our supply, that's our cargo car, so or the, it's our storage vehicle. Let's migrate these over. Very nice. Uh, let's do something that I wanted to do. I want to tear this down. Be the largest base I've ever seen. And I'm going to tear this down. I'm going to build this here. I'm going to build this here. Just trading their places, basically, so that the sniper tower will now have... It'll basically have overwatch of this entire courtyard area, because every time the zombies do their full-scale attacks, this courtyard area is always really hot. So I think, uh, I mean, the, 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 our allies could also just have, like, atrocious accuracy and completely override such a strategy, but... Where was the, the plague wall? Somewhere in this area. Is it right here? Yeah, crashed plane. 
Let's go out and excavate the target. Kind of annoying to have to make two trips, but eh. What am I going to call this episode? I already made an episode called The Plague Wall when we actually, like, reconned it, but... I call it, like, Attack on Wall. Attack on Plague Wall. Assault. It's such a... It's like, The Plague Wall is such a weird name that... I mean, what do I call the episode? Maybe, maybe I could find, like, a play on words about walls. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that plague wall. I have no idea what to call this episode. And while we're here, I kind of want to... Get a drone strike. And just blow that thing up while we're here. for plague zombies. Parts are right there, so let's just this place could use a drone strike. Can we make that happen? Put the smoke what are you doing? What are you doing? Why would you do that? Oh thank God. Where's my drone strike? Where did my drone strike go? What happened? I tripped. Well, tripping is not a good sign. What happened? Did it like despawn? Did it like glitch out? That was weird. Did it put it on cooldown? Oh, okay, it didn't... Okay, never mind. It didn't It didn't consume the charge for some reason. How, how strange is that? Is it because of Quincy? Did Quincy... cancel it? Did Basically, did the drone not attack because Quincy was in the way? Of course, because, like, you know, like, the best way to remove a plague guard is to, like, go up and, like, smack it with your screwdriver or whatever close combat weapon you're using. That's a brilliant strategy. I wonder if there's a way to just... Can we just drive in a straight line to that and save a little time? Uh, it's a little mountainous, but I think we can do it. Yeah, okay. I, say, I like this area. This area is nice and flat. For my anime viewers out there, let me tell you... This is one of the few times I'll agree that flat is justice. God damn it. Found another bloater. Okie dokes. I wanna harvest the bloater. Steady now. So is that the bloater sample? Yes. Be a little judicious. I do want that. Yeah, stick. Eh. I do want that. Let's go put some of this stuff in the car. I just noticed that it just kind of like deflates. It's all like... like a deflated whoopee cushion. Put this stuff... Yeah, that's fine. Go grab some more stuff, then we'll switch to Quincy and grab even more stuff. Let's just grab everything this time. Okay, let's switch to Quincy. Grab the samples. Got one 
Didn't go through him far enough. No, you don't. Good stab. Oh, there's a sample over there. Yeah, I think that's basically everything. I don't see anything else. Except for some random guys that we gotta take out. Okay. Time to head back home. We head to this base first. Oh yeah, we can sell to that guy too, because we got a bunch of luxury items. Sounds like a uh, right proper idea to me. Probably should loot that car, but I'm in a hurry right now. I want to sell this stuff. That's interesting. I don't think we have any quests. Yeah, we don't have any quests. Apparently I missed a survivor named Diana. Well, I guess I put the uh, die in Diana, huh? Uh, uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what, uh, oh, Ray, locking your doors on me. Traffic Junction, this is Dr. Hoffman. I have something important to show you. Meet me in Marshall, and be careful on your way here. How dare you interrupt my my trade? I will stab you in the head. It's good to see you again. Oh my gosh, where's my other community What's member? Up, Switch. Ray's not looking too good. Hola, señorita. How can I help? Okay, so I guess all of the luxury items are back in the car. So back to the car we go. Oh my god, we're just gonna smash his window. It'll respawn. He'll, he'll, he'll be fine. Oh, we only had two luxury items. I clearly overestimated how much stuff we had to sell. Might as well sell it while we're here, though. Hello, Quincy. You ready to do this? All right. Wait, what do you have to sell? Let's check Hello, that out. Quincy. Let's help each other out. All right. Med kits. Oh, network signal booster. We'll take that. Bag of fertilizer. Hello, Let's Quincy. buy the bag of fertilizer. Well, let's double check. Do I have any mods for it? Cancel the action. Nope, so let's go ahead and buy the bag of fertilizer. Getting some nice upgrades here. Fortunately, we just, just so happen to have an outpost right here. Though I don't remember where the supply locker is. Oh, here it is. Right in front of me. Dump this crap in. Let's get those installing. Network signal booster. Install the fertilizer. Switch to Helena. Oh, out of my way. Put all this stuff in. Let's grab anything out of our vehicle and put that in too. This disgusting item was extracted from a plague bloater. With the right knowledge, it might actually be useful. Has no function outside of Heartland. Special delivery. Logan delivering some basic supplies. Okay, let's go over there, I guess. Why not? The doctor's outpost. I guess she's all by herself now. 
I'd be kind of uh, nervous if I had a community of one person. Hopefully we can find a way up through this kind of mountainous looking area up ahead. Okay, it looks like there's a way around. I hope it's a way around. Creepy, gnarled-looking tree over there. I don't remember that. Must be a new art asset. Oh, it's really rocky over here. Is this a way through? I hope it is. Man, this area is super rocky. In the Rocky Mountains or something. Okay, it looks like this is the way down. Through the river rapids. This is the super infested area. Oh, this is that stupid... ledge or that stupid curb in the road that always interferes with my ability to drive. Let's drive around that. Yeah, and I fit through this. Yes, just barely. I'm surprised she would want to set up her base. So, I mean, I guess she's a scientist and she's trying to observe the... the uh, plague wall, but jeez. How to kill the dead thing. Okay, so how do we get up to the roof? Come on, this will be fun. I suspect if there's a ladder, it's going to be outside the building rather than inside. Yep. for you to see what we're up against. Get up on that survey platform and look for a plague wall in the direction of the courthouse. And just happy to help. Oh, see that plague wall? That's how you get in. Getting where? I heard Captain Logan call it the gauntlet. So, I suppose that name is as good as any. Now look again. Past those barricades in the middle of town. It looks like another plague wall. If my theory is correct, it's ground zero for whatever has infected Marshall. I need you to get in there and figure out what's going on. And then blow it up. Perhaps. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before you can get through those walls, you'll need plague busters. A lot of them. I need to stay here to observe, so I can't be your supplier. Instead, I'm sending you to retrieve some equipment that will allow you to craft your own plague busters. We're getting a lot of infestations around here. That's not good. Where is it? Okay. I 
I'm guessing it's going to be a mod. It's either going to be a mod or it's going to be a, um... A blueprint for a new facility, I'm, uh, that would be my guess. I'm going to loot this area if, if it has medicine. This will help a lot. Some pretty good stuff. Like all of it. Medicine. Oh, I saw something flash. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find something useful. Of course, there'll be a ton of Halligan tools here since it is a fire department. Kind of an awful weapon, though, due to its low ease of use. Eats up your stamina very quickly, but I believe they will dismantle and do a decent number of parts. That's so. Did I see something flash? Safe and sound. No more zombies. I don't want to look around too much because I don't want to waste too much of our daylight when we got a quest to do. Especially in Marshall, since this area appears to be pretty heavily infested. I'm done checking this place out. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. That's. Pretty head. You need something? Boss. How's it going? No. Loot. Good. How's it going? After you. Alright, back to the car. Oh, it was right in the front. What am I doing? Give me the ruck. I think we've got a handle on living through this end of the world thing. Got a jug. Definitely don't want to fight him. It doesn't look like there's anything in between us. No plague walls or anything like that, so. I should have ran that screamer over. This is exactly the place to look. Push in. Let's refuel since it's pretty quiet here. This is that classic zombie horde music? Did he just trip? These zombies, though. So clumsy. This is an infestation. Time to locate the Screamer. Who is right there. Let's switch off of Burst. That looks like an actually infected human. Same with him, because he's got a unique outfit, meaning he can probably be looted for something. Okay, they're thin out enough. Let's finish him off in hand to hand. No more infestation. Time to look around. Understood. Keep me apprised of your progress. 
Oh my gosh, look at all these notes. I see it now, I see the truth. It has built a labyrinth, and now it demands a sacrifice? Hoffman must think of herself as Adrian, and the captain as Theseus. They are fools, the labyrinth will consume us all. They're talking about the Minotaur's labyrinth? How many more must die before the beast is sated? I hope we have enough soldiers left to feed it. So it looks like... We're having some madness. These people are uh, suffering some type of uh, madness. Note on the dead scientist. I'm so glad I've been keeping this journal. I can't wait to share it with the Colonel when we get home. So we can see how badly Hoffman has screwed up this mission. If all- if she- if she'd only listened to my suggestions when we let- when we arrived in this valley, we'd have cleared out Marshall by now. It's so frustrating to be underappreciated. Interesting. So far, they haven't had anything worth taking, either. Dr. Berg keeps muttering under his breath, and it's really worrying me. That's a run-on sentence. I tried talking with Dodds, but he just tells me to go complain to the Queen, and Hoffman just ignores me and pokes at her damn supplies. Mom was right, I should have been a dentist. We double check their equipment. I guess I could take the bell club and scrap it. We could. T I guess we could take this backpack. Like That's she's not. There's a seven slot. Deck destroyer. Why not? Mail order. Wakazashi. Sure. Actually, let's put some of this on the ground. And have Quincy carry it. You are the pack mule. Quincy. You first, amigo. Okay, let's get to business. We're looking for lab equipment. Uh. Area is quite large. Where could it be? Got a large metal locker. Could have lab equipment. I think I look. Yep, I see another one under there. Time. It had absolutely nothing in it. Or was it? Here it is. We got something in there, so there's the third searchable. Ah, plague toxin distiller. This device lets us transform the poison gland we harvest from bloaters into plague busters. Dr. Hoffman sent us to find it so that we could fight through the gauntlet of plague walls in Marshall. Install this facility mod into any facility. This item cannot be removed from the heartland. If held, the inventory of a character who leaves, the item is lost permanently. Hey, I found it. Excellent. You can install that device anywhere in your base to get it up and running. That will allow you to manufacture plague busters from the poison glands you harvest. You will need a lot of them to punch your way through that gauntlet. If you need assistance locating plague bloaters, call me on your radio. I should be able to help. I couldn't agree more. Take a casual look around for where the last one could be, but let's not linger here too long. Check the status of our base. Install that, we'll improve our morale. I uh, might as well upgrade this. Nothing there that's important, so let's return to our vehicle. It appears a plague horde has wandered in. I could probably just let him pass, to be honest. Yeah, let's see. We want to head out in this direction. Let me mark the direction on the map. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll get out of here. A fairly successful operation. I have a feeling that we are due for a major attack on our base soon. I just kind of have a feeling that it, it just hasn't... It, I'm pretty sure the sieges are story-based, like every checkpoint in the story or so. And we haven't had one, and the destruction of the plague while acquiring the equipment, that's a pretty significant point in the story, so I have a feeling that we are due for a siege. If I'm right, trust me, I did not get spoiled by anybody. It's just a hunch. If I'm wrong, well, then we don't have to worry about it. I'm getting a little bit of a Dead Space vibe from those, like, notes of madness, because in Dead Space, uh, there's this bizarre, like, spiral, like, helix type of artifact called the Marker, and the Marker induces uh, madness to those who are living in its general area. And uh, the notes, they do give me kind of a Dead Space vibe. It could be an isolated thing, though, you know, it might just might have just been them. Like, we'll have to see if additional people are suffering from madness who are too close to these play guards. Got a juggernaut. That's not good. I should install this new equipment before I forget. If the siege is in fact story based then let's not deposit this just yet let's actually just leave this here to kind of stall the quest are we overboard on fuel No, we're not. Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh man. Okay, so the reason I don't want to complete the quest is because I don't know if it's gonna trigger a um a new siege. And if it does trigger a new siege, we want to remove the existing freaks. Because the noise of combat will very likely draw them in. Let's also dismiss Quincy. So we basically want to thin these guys out ahead of time. So dark. Okay, let's lure him in. Can he fit through that? I have a tight squeeze. Fit through it. Let's lure him towards the courtyard. He's like, oh, I'm going to get you. It's um pipe bombs. I'm the juggernaut. Oh, he's after me. No, you don't. Throw a pipe bomb on him. I said throw a pipe bomb on him. Throw a pipe bomb on. Throw the bomb, please. Throw the bomb. Come on. I don't want to waste any more ammo. Try to get the feral if we can. Unfortunately, he's kind of mixed up with these other enemies right now. Where is he? Drop kick. Execute. My last group worked hard to build this place up. It was worth it. Let's go remove these last few zombies first. Then we will deposit, and if we don't get a siege, we'll just take a break. Well, 
or I mean complete the episode for the day. Okay. Screamer's uh, not the screamer's not as big of a concern. Install it at any facility. Okay, so it's not dependent on anything. I'd say these defenses are as good as they can get. Let's hope we don't. Now we can get started making those plague busters. All right, this is it. You have all the knowledge you need to take on the gauntlet of plague walls in Marshall. I recommend stocking up on plague busters and plenty of cure before you start your assault. You'll have time to rest and resupply between each assault. Good luck to you. Wow, is this the final quest already? Hmm. What is this? Oh, this is that area that we were able to build because of Isaac. Okay, so it looks like we didn't get a siege. And this is, this appears to be like the final quest, so... Hmm. I'll have to think about what I want to do, you know, do I really want to engage in the final quest already? Not sure. Anyways, let's go ahead and sign out with, um... Helena, since, uh, you know, she led the attack with Quincy. But yeah, that's the end of this episode. So we... prepared and we destroyed the first plague wall. I am certain that the other ones will be quite a bit harder, just because uh, I have a strong feeling the first one is kind of like the tutorial wall. And I don't know if I want to just immediately launch the attack on it. The C4s were pretty effective. We could certainly stock up on additional C4. Uh, I'm not sure... Uh, I mean, I, actually, no, we can't even launch the mission yet. We'll need more. We'll need to farm bloaters. So next episode, what we're probably going to do is start cleaning up the infestations and the plague arts. And, uh, yeah, that's that's what I have on my mind. So, you know, uh, not, not sure what to make of it so far. Not sure what to think about the, um... I mean, I think the plague wall is pretty cool. I like the idea of the zombies kind of building their own forts. I guess we'll see what it's like when... when you do the, the plague wall at Marshall. I have a strong feeling that... The distractions are going to become extremely powerful because if there's a lot of regular zombie interference, they basically all just get mesmerized by the uh, the firecrackers, and that lets you either burn them all immediately, or you could just let them be mesmerized and then focus on killing the the freaks. Either way, you can either isolate the freaks by burning the zombies or you can uh, isolate the zombies by distracting them and killing the freaks so I think that's going to be a pretty important part of it uh, but yeah that's the end of the episode like this video if it was entertaining subscribe for future State of K2 content and of course remember that you don't have to be good to get good